All right, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to change your IP. Um, I have to stream it, unfortunately, so bear with me. It's gonna be pretty easy. So first things first, Google.com. Okay, you have to find the name and brand of your router. So it could be Belkin, Netgear, Linksys, uh, whatever it is. Once you find the name of it, Google. Uh, the name of your router and then IP so mine is Linksys Cisco IP okay now yours could be Netgear IP link or Belkin IP but it usually will tell you the router IP address once you find it copy that router IP address this could be it too by the way it just depends open up a new tab guys copy that router IP and then paste it okay once you paste it press enter and a box like this will come up what you guys want to do from here is the username is usually admin and then the password is usually password. Now if that doesn't work, then put an admin and then the, uh, the password for your router internet to log into your wireless. So mine would be this. Um, also it could be different, it could vary from router to router, but once you Google the router and then IP it will have like instructions on how to log into your router settings. Uh, something like this will pop up. Not really could be different between every router. This is like the toughest part because um, I can't show you exactly what to do. What you guys want to do is just search through your router settings. All these little things, click them, all of them, look through everything until you find something like this. Mac address clone. Click that and you will see uh, Mac address clone. Make sure it's enabled and uh, have the... Um, you'll see the boxes and letters like this, numbers, and then you'll see clone my PC's Mac and save settings. Once you guys do this, um, you could change your IP address. This is literally the toughest part, okay? Um, since my last two letter and number is C3, you could change it from anything from A through F and 1 through 8. So, for example, change it to D4 or E5 or even A3 or B2 anything just change it from what it was previously click save settings once you save those settings turn off your modem and router reset them real quick just plug in and out and before you do that though go to ipchicken.com just keep that tab open memorize or memorize your IP address save settings restart modem and router wait till your internet boots up go to my IP chicken again ipchicken.com and see if it changed now I am streaming this so I can't show it in real time that's all you have to do to change your IP believe it or not that's how easy it is and uh, it just varies on what current equipment and setup that you have so basically if you have a modem you can't change your IP if you have everything directed directly connected into your modem you can't change your IP uh, basically this is how Comcast works they give me a modem and router built into one it's like two-in-one it's a router and modem um, I would go into my router settings and try to find MAC address clone it wouldn't have it it's just a very simple layout and uh, I would call them tell them hey can I change my IP address they wouldn't know what I'm talking about you know they're not very smart with this stuff because I mean how many people need to change their IP besides gamers really um, so what I have to do is go out of my way buy a router a new router Linksy Cisco plug it into my modem router have everything just connect to my router you can have it wirelessly connected to your new router or directly connected now uh, that is the simplest way and then you will have a setup like this and it works with a uh, numerous routers I've helped John Ricky and um, Parasite and it took me like 10 minutes to teach them and they were shocked on how easy it is to change your IP address um, let me tell you guys something though this won't prevent you from getting host booted you're still gonna get host booted but this what it does is makes you change your IP so the host booter can't just keep booting you offline throughout the day or even throughout the week so once you get booted offline do what I just showed you guys change your IP and don't go back in that booters lobby and uh, that's it literally I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video I'm trying to remember if I missed anything um, but yeah I can't show you guys in real time because if I save these settings right now it will boot me offline uh, so yeah Mac address clone change the last two save settings reboot modem router IP chicken and then see the difference hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah that's it bye